All right, welcome to this uh, video. Uh, this is a re-recording of an uh, earlier webinar that we did on CCTV basics. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, the field of view and focal lengths here for just a few minutes and uh, talking about that. So let's get right into this here. Kind of overview what we're going to look at. We're going to give attendees a basic understanding of what the field of view is, how it's calculated and how that relates to focal lengths of lenses. Uh, so we'll define what is field of view, how do you calculate it, and we'll give you an example of a field of view calculator and also a quick easy calculation you can do um, kind of by hand. So what is field of view? The field of view is the total height and width of the view seen through the lens. So we're talking physical dimensions, feet and inches. Uh, sometimes it's referred to also as the angle of view or the angular field of view. When it's uh, mentioned in that, uh, or when you talk about the angular field of view, it's stated in horizontal and or vertical degrees. Uh, so degrees of what though? When we talk about angular field of view, we're talking about degrees of a circle. The circle is 360 degrees. So what is my degree of view? For instance, uh, in this case, the dark blue in that circle is 43.6 degrees. So here my angle of view is 43.6 degrees. We'd be talking about that's that's how wide or that's what I can actually see. So imagine in your mind if this is your eye or this is the camera uh, here in the center of the circle and this is what uh, the total angle of view that the camera is able to see. Uh, so we're going to talk about lin linear field of view. So feet uh, and inches. So, so the horizontal field of view, that's the width of the view. The vertical field of view, that's the height of the view. How high is it? Uh, overall field of view is a combination of those then of horizontal and vertical. Sometimes it's even referred to as a diagonal field of view. So just like you would measure your uh, TV set um, from one corner to the other to get a diagonal uh, measurement, um, sometimes uh, field of view is measured in that way. So here you have kind of just a picture so you can see that horizontal again is the width of view, vertical would be the height of view. Uh, and part of this calculation we'll just kind of mention real quickly is the CCD chip size. Um, you're going to have a lot of different uh, variations in chip sizes in cameras um, and this just kind of shows you what that is. These are actual physical dimensions of what those chips are. So 4.8 millimeters by 3.6 millimeters is the actual dimensions of a one third inch chip. Uh, so uh, there are other chip sizes. Just so you know, uh, GSP America cameras all have uh, a one third inch chip size other than our PTZ cameras. Uh, so the math that we use um, is based on uh, the one third inch chip size that you see here. Uh, and that's what uh, the only real area we're focused on here for this uh, particular webinar. Here's just a basic chart just to kind of give you an idea um, based on one third inch chi uh, chip size, if you have a 50 millimeter lens, your field of view in degrees or horizontal degrees is 5.5. And I'll demonstrate this for you here on uh, the calculator in a little bit. Uh, and just to give you an idea, at uh, 25 feet, you know, you got 2.4 uh, uh, feet is your field of view. At 50 feet, you can see 4.8 feet. At 100 feet, you can see 9.6 feet uh, in width. Uh, in your horizontal view. So this just kind of goes down through different uh, lens options and so forth. So let's give you kind of a visual of uh, some of this. We've got some examples. Uh, so for instance here we have a 13.3 degree field of view. Uh, this is a 13.3 horizontal degree of view with a 25 millimeter lens. Sign is about 65 feet away and that's what it looks like. Okay, you take the same distance, same sign we're looking at, with a 12 millimeter lens. Your field of view then is 28 uh, feet. These numbers aren't exactly perfect, but this is just to give you an example. So we have 28 degree field of view um, at 65 feet. That's what that, that same sign looks like. Come out here with a smaller lens, 6 millimeters, uh, 53 degree field of view now, uh, 65 feet. That's what the sign looks like. Here we go to a 92 degree field of view. Uh, sign is 65 feet away. It's 3.6 millimeter lens. 
uh, just to give you an idea, so a much smaller lens, you get a much wider uh, field of view. So how do we calculate that? I'm going to show you on a calculator here. Uh, but basically what you have to do is take um, the imaging device size. Um, again, GSP uses that 130 inch, um, except in our PTZ cameras. Um, you got to consider the focal length of the lens. Uh, is it 9 millimeters, 20 millimeters? Um, you have a variety of lens options. We have a fixed lens. Uh, we have a lot of cameras that have 4 millimeter uh, fixed lens. Verifocal means you can manually adjust uh, that focus in a range. Uh, so we have some lenses that are, you know, 4 millimeter to 9 millimeter. We have some that are 9 to 22. We have some that are 5 to 50 millimeter. Uh, those would be verifocal, so you set them once and, and leave them. Uh, zoom is an option of a lens as well, uh, which you find on a PTZ. So you're able to adjust it and actually change it and change your view uh, while you're looking uh, uh, through um, through your system uh, actually at the camera. So then we need to know the distance to the object in the scene and we need to know the width of the object in the scene. Uh, so ideally if we if we we need to know at least um, you know two of the three uh, of four of these uh, we have to know at least two of them either the length of the lens we know the chip size so we need two of these other three either the width, the distance, or the focal uh, length of the lens in order to find out uh, exactly um, how we're going to come out. So let's look at some examples. Uh, for instance, we got to go 80 feet, views of a car, which is 10 feet wide. What's my field of view? All right, let's switch over here now to um, our spreadsheet. The spreadsheet here shows us um, some examples. So again, a four millimeter field of view gives a 61 degree, four, four millimeter lens gives you a 61 degree field of view. But in this case, we talked 80 feet and we're going 10 feet wide. And you can see here that what you need is a 38 millimeter lens then in order to do that. So you might use a verifocal lens of five to 50 millimeters. Again, this is based on a 130 inch chip size. Uh, and if we put in 38.4 there, again you can see 38.4 at 80 feet, I'm going to see 10 feet wide, I'm going to see 7.5 feet high. A 38 millimeter lens gives me a 7.15 degree, horizontal degree of view. Okay, so let's hand a little calculator. Uh, this is available through, uh, through the blog site as well. You can download and uh, feel free to, uh, to use it as you want to. All right, so let's switch back to PowerPoint. Um, obviously, if you have other examples you want to try, please uh, let me know. we will be glad to uh, help you out with that, or you can work through it yourself. Now, another option for you is just a quick, easy uh, calculation. You can take the distance divided by the subject width, so distance to the object divided by the width, times the format of the CCD. Again, our chip size is uh, the one-third inch, um, the horizontal uh, measurement of that chip is 4.8 millimeters. So in this case, we would take 80 divided by 10 times 4.8, and you get 38.4 millimeters. So again, even if you don't have a calculator, as long as you take the distance divided by the width, times it by 4.8, and you're going to know exactly which lens uh, that you need to use. All right, so we talked about field of view. Uh, what it is, how you calculate it, um, gave you an example of the calculator. In closing, if you have other questions, please let me know. Just email me, peter at gcpamerica.com. If you have other things you'd like to see uh, included and talked about, uh, please email me those ideas. We'd love to uh, create a webinar uh, for those uh, things you have questions on. And we will make these available via our blog and our SharePoint uh, portal as well. Thank you very much, and have a great day.